Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am the Disc Golf Nerd. It's time to take a look at some more plastic and other gear that's come into the inventory in an unboxing video here for Fresh Plastic Friday. I have some new plastic from NSH Custom Discs, my new 2024 Defiant. I have some new plastic from Luft Discs out there in Denmark. We also have some 3D printed goodies from Digiflex Labs. And finally, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Mojo Riser. I tested this thing during the Kickstarter phase. I had like a 3D printed prototype that I was trying out. This is the finished production version that just showed up in the mail yesterday. I'm very excited to uh, dig into that as well. So all that and more, stay tuned. But first, as always, there's a couple of easy ways you can help support the channel if you're so inclined. You can check out my Patreon. It starts at only two bucks a month. You can donate as much as you want. And think of it essentially as a tip jar for creators. You can kick me a couple of bucks to help support the efforts here. It's a pretty easy way to do so. Another thing you can do is help support me by saving money on gear at the same time using my code DISCGOLFNERD10. 10% off any of the non-tour and uh, signature series discs from NSH Custom Discs. That same code DISCGOLFNERD10 will save you 15% off Anything you need from Upper Park Disc Golf, makers of the best bags on the market, the Shift and the Rebel. I fell in love with them immediately when I first started testing them, and I continue to use them to this day. Disc Golf Nerd 10. Okay, so moving on, let's start out with this little care package I got from Digiflex Labs. Only take me a quick moment to show you guys this stuff. These are all interesting 3D printed products they've been trying to develop. Um, these are disc wall hangers. I really like this mini that they sent me. This is a kayak point mini in this cool kind of metallic color and i love how it's uh, perforated right so it's super lightweight it weighs like nothing and it's really slim this is a really great functional size for an actual mini you're going to use out there on the course because it'll slip down in your pocket and you'll forget it's in there it's not going to be like clanging around while you're trying to throw i really like the uh the lightweight slim design of these and i'm probably going to try to uh, bug them into making me some more of these minis coming up here real soon so uh, check out Digiflex Labs on Instagram in the description and stuff if you want to get yourself a custom mini. And then they also sent me these wall hangers that they've been working on. So this one will hang on the wall and the disc will kind of sit on it like a little disc shelf. Definitely interested to try that one. And then these kind of clip into the disc. So if we grab my Defiant right here, you can see how it works. Basically pops right in into the rim like that. And as you can see, it holds it on pretty good, you know, much better than if you're going to be, you know, trying to hang it on a nail or something like that. So I can hold it this way. Obviously, it's meant to be this way. And then you can adjust it however you need to, like, get it facing the way you want and hang it on the wall. And there you can see how it kind of fits from the inside there. Very interesting. I'll definitely be hanging some of these when I get a chance to... Uh, break out some uh, yeah, screws and anchors or whatever for my drywall. And I'll be testing these out more thoroughly because I do have trouble with my wall hangers that you guys see in the background of certain shots here in the studio falling off the wall, you know, using like a thumbtack or any of those other type of things that you would use for this. So definitely be interested to try those. Shout out to Digiflex Labs. Link in the description as always. Also, I want to take a quick moment to let you guys know that the new 2024 version of the Disc Golf Nerd Defiant, my signature 3D printed disc from NSH Custom Discs, is ready and available now. We went with a much brighter, more vibrant colorway here with the pink back, clear top, yellow rim, and then the yellow and the pink kind of combined to make this orange rim that really lights up in the, in the, out in the sunlight. This thing looks awesome. It catches a lot of light and should be much more vibrant and easy for you to find out there on the course. And I want to kind of de-emphasize my logo a little bit. We did this as the first prototype with this stripe of blue in there. Ends up making it kind of more pastel, kind of uh, purpley, which I like this one, and I will continue to probably throw this one as well. Um, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. Next prototype we tried was this one here. That's just the pink top with no clear involved, right? So it's just the solid pink. And I like this one as well, but we decided to split the difference so you can read that and then also have that nice clear top to catch light and make it even more bright and shiny. So that's the new version of the Defiant. You can order these in the description below. Every one of these that sell, I get a chunk of that money. It goes directly to me to help support the channel. And these are genuinely amongst my favorite discs to throw. I throw this thing anytime I can. I've already racked up many birdies with this thing on the first few rounds I've used it on, even though I'm not really throwing very well. Link in the description as always for that as well. And next, we're gonna take a look at some more always interesting and uh, yeah, it's always somewhat of a trip opening a box from Luft Discs out there in Denmark because they actually have the 
guts and the inclination to try to do something somewhat different than everybody else out there on the market. So we have the new Neon, which is super wild. We'll take a look at it in just a second. And first, we're going to start out with the Titanium, which is their first fairway driver. 7, 5, negative 2, 1. This is one I died up just to demonstrate how well the Alpha Solid Plastic takes dye. Came out really good. If somebody wants to buy that to help support the channel as well, shoot me a DM on Instagram or something. Get that one out of the way and take a look at the stock ones so you see what they look like. Out of the box, 7, 5, negative 2, 1, as we said. Alpha Solid Plastic, kind of akin to like a star type plastic. Nice feel. And as always, these have very smooth contours, no sharp edges, no hot spots or anything, and a very comfortable feel in the hand. I kind of failed to get you guys any reasonable flight footage for these just yet, but they are next on the docket as I'm going to be testing all of the lift stuff in stock, and I'll be doing a separate video to show off all kinds of different options from them because I have four different molds now that I've yet to fully review. So we're just going to dig in and test a whole bunch of it at once and show you guys all the really interesting stuff that's coming out of Luft Discs out there in Denmark. So that's their first fairway driver, straight flying, kind of hyzer flip fairway. I'm sure it would hold a turnover as well, but I've barely started testing those. I have thrown these a bit more, and this is the Neon. And these, I kind of wish I did a legitimate unboxing when these first showed up, because as soon as I pulled these out of the box and I saw this puddle top, I could not believe my eyes. I was like, are you kidding me with how deep this puddle is? This is nuts. Like, I could eat a bowl of soup out of this disc. The only thing that comes anywhere even remotely close is the Zone OS. I have a full review on that if you're interested in what that looks like. I don't feel like digging it out right now to show it here, but that's the only other disc I've ever seen that's anywhere near this. I have to say, I think the Neon's deeper. It just goes straight down into this crazy puddle. I don't know if they cool it you know like press down onto some kind of a suction table or something that allows it to cool with that shape or if it's molded in or some combination of those things but 3103 are the flight numbers on the neon so it's an overstable approach disc the outside rim shape reminds me more of like a i don't know a harp or a zone tactic type rim design to it with that mega puddle top this thing is quite beefy. It's definitely beefy backhand. If you try to throw it backhand and put some pop on it, it behaves real overstable and wants to get down to the ground very quickly. Um, I liked it better forehand so far, but it's very functional. I'll be able to uh, continue testing this, and then one of these will also go in my overstable approach disc video alongside like 25 or 26 other molds that I'm finally going to dig into this year. This is the year. I'm saying it now. Hold me to it, guys. And finally, we got the big box. So we'll look at the back here. I'm never going to be able to get all this on camera, so just see what you can see here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to do much more testing and showing off of this product once I actually get it attached to a golf bag. But I just wanted to give a quick shout-out since it showed up in the mail and take a look at what the box looks like and kind of give you guys an idea of what you're going to get if you were to order one of these for yourselves. So the Mojo Riser is, it's basically like a bag stand, right? You attach it to the bottom of your bag. There's a, a cord that you pull out, three legs pop out of the bottom, and you can put your bag down without putting it in the mud and the dirt and all that type of stuff. Long-term viewers of the channel will probably know that I use a Coleman kind of folding camping stool to accomplish this, but this is a product that's designed for that and it attaches to your bag semi-permanently, right? It has some clips that you kind of secure on there, so it's on there. You don't have to, like, worry about taking it along with you. I've never understood why, you know, people just, like, throw their bag down in the dirt and the mud and everything. I always thought that was kind of silly. So this is a product that's kind of right up my alley in that respect. So as we dig into the box here, you can see we got a nice uh, QR code scan here to go over to the user manual and the setup guide to build this whole device. Um, and then you have some of the components up here. So this one right here, oh, if I can actually get it out of here, Mojo riser. So this will attach on, and then this is the cord that you pull to let the legs pop open. We have some smaller bits and bobs in this box here, including some of the attachment clips. I believe this one, yeah, if you take a look at this clip here, I think these just kind of clip on and pinch down on there. So I don't think you actually have to put holes in your bag to attach this anymore, but you could depending on how firm you want it to be. Uh, I'm not gonna pull all this out here, but yeah, we got some legs down here. 
Here's uh, the main assembly of the piece here. Let's pull this out take a quick peek. That's what we're doing. I did not assemble this thing yet, so we're just kind of get a quick idea of what it looks like fresh out of the box. And I'll report back to you guys with a full review on this thing once I get it hooked up to my Rebel and I get out there and carry it for at least a few rounds. But I wanted to give you an idea of what the box looks like and kind of what you're going to get and some assembly required for sure. I will report back on how hard it was to put together or, you know, or any of that type of stuff in the full review of this product. But that is the production model of the Mojo Riser. Seemed like it came out great. Very similar to the original prototype they showed me. Here's a better look at the, uh, the clips here. From my eyes, it looks like you just kind of slip it over and then this will kind of secure down and attach it on there. And then you can cinch it down to your bag so it's attached for good. That's a quick peek at the finished production model of the Mojo Riser. Stay tuned for more information about that coming up soon, along with a full review on the Neon, the Titanium, the Xenon, and the Silicon, all in the inventory to be fully reviewed from Luft Discs. I'm just going to do a mass video and show off a ton of stuff in one video for you guys. I think that'll be the best way to do it at this point, since I've had them in the inventory for a long time. Even though I've shown them in other videos, I just haven't gotten the full reviews done. And finally, quick reminder, the new 2024 edition of my signature Disc Golf Nerd Defiant. 3D printed, fully PDGA approved golf disc. These things have some flexibility to them. If you're not familiar, they're actually quite durable and tough. None of that brittle 3D printed plastic that you might be familiar with. These can handle abuse. I had the one in my bag from last year. It still flies great. I threw it a million times last year and it hasn't broken in or changed at all. The only reason I'm not throwing it is because I switched to this new colorway because I'm excited to have it in the bag. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. Link in the description for all these products, as always. I love and appreciate all of your support, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.